this Bible study tonight. Father, we pray that your presence will lead us in tonight's study in Jesus' name. Bless us through your word tonight. For in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. You can please take your seat. Tonight, we come to look at our Bible study. And this Bible study is very crucial, very important. I pray that even as we look at this study tonight, God will bless us through this study in Jesus' name. We are looking at this study tonight, walking and praising God. Walking and praising God. In Acts chapter 2, Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, in Acts of the Apostles chapter 2, in verse 47, Acts 2, verse 47, in verse 47 it says, Praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily, just as should be saved. As you look at this scripture, Acts chapter 2, in verse 47, happened to be the last verse on this scripture and is the last verse of chapter 2 and as you carefully look at chapter 2 of Acts of the Apostles you will see that it was a chapter of walking you see walking all through they were walking with the Lord and they end in praise they end their walk with the Lord with praise. So we see two things in that chapter. Number one, we see walking. And number two, we see praising. So while they were walking for the Lord, serving the Lord, they also ensure that they end that chapter with praising God. As I look at this verse of the scripture, I am going to treat three points from this verse. Point number one, the unifying work of God. The unifying work of God. We see three basic things God did through that praise. Through the praise, we see number one, the unified work of God. God unifies church through that praise. And he unifies church through they are working for the Lord. And while they were working, the Lord was unifying his church. Number two, we see the magnifying wonders of God. The magnifying wonders of God. Why they magnify God? We see the wonders that come down through their praise. And then point number three, the multiplying work of God. The multiplying work of God. We also see God multiplying his church because they were praising and they were working with the Lord. So we go back to point number one. The unifying work of God. As we look at chapter two in verse 47 as we travel through the year and we are come to this last Bible study for the year, you will have every reason why you need to do what they do or why you need to do what they did. In verse 47, praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily. As you look at there, you are not going to see you know, 
and I praise God. You are going to see praising God, meaning that it was a unified thing. All of them together were praising God for what God has done for them. Meaning that they start from Pentecost together and they ended the chapter together. That same God is the God that has taken us from January to this day. And we say, may his name be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. And so you see, they were all together and they praised God together. How do we know? Now, let's look at verse 42. In verse 42. And they continually, steadfastly, in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and in breaking of bread and in what now? In prayer. Day. I love the word day. So all of them together, they were together. And they stand steadfastly together. There was no backslider among them. And there was no one sick, dead among them. They all stand steadfastly. They were all serious with the Lord to the end of the chapter. And as the Lord has been so faithful with us as a church and as individual and as family and has been so gracious to us, this night we want to say, God, thank you for everything. And we want to say, God, in unity, we are ascribing all the praise to you. And if you join your house with me and all of us together, unifyingly, we are going to worship God tonight in Jesus' name. And then as I look at this praise, it was unified. But again, I can see that it was perpetual. It was perpetual, meaning it, it continues. It continues. It was not just something they do today and they didn't do it tomorrow. Uni unifyingly and it was perpetually. They were together and they continue perpetually together. And this was very, very notable. And because they were together, praising God together, working together, and serving together, God gave them results. The first result I see is, number one, they met daily. They met daily. In Acts chapter 2, they were together daily. Their meeting was daily. And yet nobody said, I'm tired. And nobody says, I, I, there is no way I can make it today. Their service was daily. In Acts chapter 2. Acts chapter 2 in verse 46. Acts 2 verse 46. And they continue daily. 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 So, they were meeting every day. Every day they comes before the Lord and they met with the Lord. And when they meet with the Lord, they praise the Lord. And they work for the Lord. So, they were meeting daily. Number two, they care daily. They were having care for one another daily. There is nothing like I did yesterday, so I'm not going to do today. So, their service to the Lord was on daily basis. Their working with the Lord was on daily basis. And if I want to ask today, all this year, how many days will you say you actually work with the Lord this year? And how many days will you really say that you were able to serve the Lord this year? That you serve with your heart and you serve with your mind. And every day in the year, just look at the total numbers of days for this year. How many days did you really serve the Lord? They served the Lord daily and they care daily. It was a continued thing. So at the end of the year, at the end of the chapter, they has every courage, every reason to say, God, we thank you. They were thanking God because they were doing something. They were thanking God because they grow from laboring. They grow from service. They were ending 
service for the year. But if I ask today, so many people are thanking God today. You know, they also marry, they cook, they eat, and they do all manner of things. All in the name, God has helped me for the year. But did you serve God this year? Where well, there are you coming from service? Did you care this year? Are there anybody you really care for this year? So, as I look at these people, they have risen. This was a church that should thank God at the end of the year. Because as you look at them, you see them meeting every day. The service of God was a mandatory thing. It was things they do on a daily basis. They go for evangelism every day. They were winning souls every day. And they were praying every day. And they dedicated themselves to the service of God on a daily basis. Not just that. They care daily. In Acts chapter 6. Look at Acts chapter 6 in verse 1. In Acts chapter 6 in verse 1. In those days when the numbers of the disciples were multiplied. There arose a murmuring of the Grecians among the Hebrew because their widows were neglected in what? In the daily ministration. It was part of them. They were caring every day. And, and so it comes to a time where the widows, maybe they couldn't have it for one, two days. And they started murmuring. They said, but we know you people. We know this church. You care every day. There was no discouragement in caring. They want to know why XYZ person is not in church. They want to know why so so person is not feeling fine. They were doing their follow up. They were meeting each other. Those that have their land saw it, parted it, and those that have money brought their money. And they had all things come on. They have reason to say thank God. And today, if there is anything you can look back to as a January, this is what I did for the Lord. February, this is what I did for the Lord. In March, this is what I did for the Lord. And all through the year, I did this and I did this for the Lord. Then this night, you have reason to thank God. I pray we will thank God as we remember how the Lord led us so far and what and what we've done for the year. This reason will cost us to praise God in Jesus' name. Yeah. Number three, they won souls daily. They were winning souls daily. Every day, they were winning souls. I mean, if people were winning souls on a daily basis, and they were caring on a daily basis, they have reason to say, thank God. They have reason to say, glory be to God. There are people... I mean, you are ending this year. You cannot look beside you and see a soul you brought to the Lord. It's just a person you don't have reason why you want to thank God. Because the greatest thing, the only thing you can give the Lord is that there was a service you provided for the Lord. There are people, I mean, they will look around themselves and look left, right, and center. And they are not going to see anything that they can say, this is what." This is the soul I've given to the Lord this year. I, I, that, if you have not given a soul to God, what have you done for the year? What can you say? This is what I did for this year. I, I, you, know, I, you know, people, when you want to thank God, you want to thank God because you were able to serve God. You want to thank God because you were able to make some sacrifice for the Lord. So, number one, number one, they met how? Daily. Number two, they care daily. Number three, they want souls daily. Acts chapter two. Acts chapter two. In verse 47, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord did what? Everybody added to the church. How? It was daily. The church was growing daily. It was daily. Every day the church was growing. Why? The people were serious. It was not Peter doing it. 
Peter has the people. And the people were doing it. They were up to their feet doing the work. And because they did this for the Lord, they have reason to thank God. They have reason to say, God, we thank you. Praising God. And that is why God could reward their praise. That's why God could reward them. Why? They were serving God. They served God. They went through all persecution for the year. All through the chapter, they went through tough time serving God. And at the end of the journey, they say, Lord, praising you. We pray that after this night, we will change our service and we improve on a service for the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, they assess the scripture daily on their own. On their own. They just stay in the house. They leave the house to the church. They were searching the scripture daily. They were not babies. They were not confused people. They were not confused. They were searching the scripture, studying the scripture daily in Acts 17 verse 11. Acts 17 11. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scripture how Daily, whether those things were so, whether the things that they had were so, they were not living in ignorance of the scripture. They were not just being carried around with every wing of doctrines. They understand what they wanted. They know what they are. They were searching the scripture daily. So they were in service. They were in service. When people are in service and you are closing your service, you have reason to say, praising God. I want to believe that this night, as we praise God, and we say, God, thank you. I want to believe that you will have a reason why you can say, God, thank you. I want to believe that there will be something you will look back to. And say, this is what I have done for the Lord this year. Not what you did for yourself. All that you did for yourself is for yourself. It's for you. You can only thank God for what you did for him. If you look at them, they've done something for the Lord. And so they were praising God for giving them the privilege to do this for them. For him. And I pray that as we improve, come next year. Our service for the Lord shall improve in Jesus' name. Amen. Number five, the church increase daily. Increase in number daily. It was every day that they were increasing. In Acts 16, Acts 16, in verse 5. Acts 16, verse 5. And so, while the churches established in the faith the churches were established in the faith i love this there was no bank account they established those churches with faith and it was not a faith without work it was a faith with service you know anybody can have a faith to establish a church but if you do that and there is no work, the church will go nowhere. They, they, they put the church together by faith and then they were working and serving and then look at the results. And increase in number, how? Daily. The church increase in number daily. I pray that we will work. Because as you see tonight's study, he said, walking and praising God. So, it is from walking to praising. We have to walk. 
we have to serve. We have to labor. And as we return from labor, we have reason to say thank you. If somebody is sleeping in the house all day, and then they wake up in the evening in the house, why sleeping and resting? He said, thank God for saving me today. I mean, saving you from what? You never meet any danger for that day. You never went out. You never crossed any road. So, save you from what? You were indoor. So, it, it, it should be better. The person would have left the house. Maybe he went to the market. Maybe he went out to preach. Maybe he has done something. Maybe he has crossed two express roads for that day. And then he come back and say, God, thank you for saving me. Why? He went through the vehicle. God saved him. But this one, you were sleeping in the bedroom and you're saying, God, thank you for saving me. From what? Now, so, it, it, there must be a labor. There must be something you have done. There must be something you have put on the ground through which you are saying, God, thank you. I pray that we will improve in our labor. I, I, I can tell you, see, nobody needs to preach to you to serve God. Trust me. God does not forget the labor of anybody. If you serve, you'll be blessed. That is the truth. See, stop being a liability. Start becoming an asset. God is not interested in any liability. All right? God is only interested in people that has value. God is a God of value. If he did not give you value, you won't be here. Praise the Lord. If God did not give you value, will you be here? You don't have any reason why you should be here. He labored and gave you salvation. He added value to your life. He saved you from sin. And he gave you everything that you do not deserve. He adds value to your life. He gives you value. So you need to sit up to start walking. It's not just, you know, God, and then you just say this, you just say that. Let's bring value. And God will be praised we do in Jesus' name. Point number two. The magnified wonder of God. The magnified wonder of God. Now, as you see, God unified the church. God unified the people. Because they were laboring. Because they were working. I, I, I need to say this. People who work does not complain. Because they don't have time to complain. People who work does not gossip. Working people are not gossiping people. People who work has no time for quarrel. Does he have time for quarry? Why? He's on duty post. He's working around the clock. And so, God was able to unify the church because they were seven. Nobody have time for fight. Nobody have time for quarry. Everybody was on their toes working for the Lord. And because they were working and they were praying and they were seven. They could have the reason to say, God, thank you. And that is taking us to point number two. The magnified wonder of God. They were magnifying God. They were praising God. They have reason to say, God, thank you. They have reason to say, God, we worship you. They have reason to say, God, hallow be thy name. Look at Acts chapter 2 in verse 47. Praising God. Not praising man. Praising God. Not praising their own desires. Praising God. Not their own emotions. Praising God. They were praising God. Even with all the troubles and with all the pain, they were praising God. They say, God, thank you. At least you added to the church. Thank you. You help us to care for the needy. Thank you. You help, you help us to win souls. Thank you. You increase your church. 
thank you. What are you going to see to say, God, thank you that you have done for the Lord? What are you going to say that you have done for God? That you can stand and say, God, thank you. Every time we come to thank God, we just thank God for one car we have bought. We just thank God for one house we have built. We just thank God for, you know, one contract we have won. We just thank God for all those things. As you look at these people, they serve God first. They put down their labor first. It was after that they now have favor with men. After praising God, God then give them favor with men. I'm telling you, when you work for God, you don't need to labor to succeed. God works for you when you work for him. He has done it for me. You are a living witness. He do it for me all the time. Because I labored for the Lord. I love the Lord. And so he can do anything for me. And tonight I invite you to join me. And let's serve God. Let's have reason to say God. Thank you for granting me grace to serve you. Life has an end as we had on Sunday. But at the end of this journey, what are you going to say you've left behind? You don't have all the time. The few time you have, use it and serve God. Walking before praising. And after praising is favor. I pray that as we walk and praise, favor will follow in Jesus' name. Now, I can see, number one, that they were praising God. In Luke Luke chapter 24. They were praising after walking. After walking, they were praising. They praise after service. And if we can serve, we, we have another opportunity now. We are moving into a new year. And this new year, you can really dedicate yourself and say, Lord, as I'm moving into this year, this is the way I want to serve you. This is what I want to do. This is how I want to go about it. Just grant me grace to serve you. Just grant me grace to serve you. And you will serve. Whatever you asked of the Lord, he will give it to you. In Acts, in Luke 24. Look at Luke 24. In verse 53. Luke 24. In verse 53. And were continually, that's perpetual, continually, and were continually in the temple. What is the next word there? Praising and doing what? Blessing God. They praise and they bless God. They make God happy. They were not just praising. They were praising and they were blessing God. They give to God. They were blessing God. They were praising God. And were, it, the two things go together. It goes together. They praise him. And because of that praise, number two, praise gave them favor. In Acts Chapter 2. Those praise that they were giving to the Lord gave them favor. In Acts 2, 42. Take 47. Praising God and having favor with all the people. Whether they were unbelievers, God gave them favor. Whether they were believers, God gave them favor. They had favor with all the people. You have opportunity now to serve. To serve. You have abuse on your hand. You can serve with them. You have neighbors. You can serve. You can do something that at the first night you can praise God. If you cannot praise this night, but at the first night, you can say, Lord, 
I praise you. I did this. Yesterday, I was all out. And I have given you my very best. I pray that our thinking and our service will change. You, you see, I thank God because each time I come here, God helping me, I'm talking to the entire world. So, you, if you don't serve and you are not ready to serve, you have not changed God. And it does not still change anything. But it will affect you. Because until you serve God, you don't find favor. It, it, the thing, it, it grows. It travels from working for the Lord to praising God and then to favor. It, it does not start with favor before working. It starts with working first. It is when we work and then we thank God for helping us to work. And then God now gives us favor. I pray that this message will be so clear in your heart tonight in Jesus' name. Number three, God brought great grace upon them all. In Acts 4.33, God give them grace. They receive great grace. Grace to serve. Grace to labor. Grace to pray. Grace to withstand. Grace to give. Grace to labor. They received great grace. Their grace was not normal grace. Why? It was a grace that is a product of working for the Lord. They have labored. And so God gave them great grace. Someone will receive grace tonight. Grace for a new service. Grace for a new service. I say grace for a new service. Even if you were not serving before, I know from that ends world, God helping you, you can serve again. I say you can serve. I say you can serve. And after service, you will praise God for serving. And after praising, what will follow? Favor will follow. That is how it works. Point number three. The multiply work of God. The multiply work of God. And while they were praising God for serving him, for the privilege he granted them to serve him, God added to the church. There were multiplications of human beings coming into the church. God will multiply your life if you can serve him. Because if you look at Acts chapter 2, look at Acts chapter 2. In Acts chapter 2, in verse 47, praising God and having favor with all people, all people. And the Lord added. The Lord multiplied. Very soon, I believe God strongly that God shall multiply his church. Amen. And God will multiply his church. Amen. He know how to do it. Their own, they were to do the work. But God was the one that added to the church. If you look at that place, it didn't say, and the apostles added to the church. Who added to the church? I'm not hearing you. God added to the church. And the Lord added to the church. And this night, that will be the beginning of our prayer. That God, add what I lack that I will carry into 2022. Anything I lack in my life, add it. Do I lack grace to serve? Add it. Do I lack strength to serve? Add it. 
Do I lack the will to serve? Add it. Do I lack, you know, the dreams and the vision to serve? Add it. If you can pray for something that is missing in your life tonight, the Lord will add that thing to you. And when he add it to you, that will help you becoming very effective in the service of God and in proclaiming the gospel. If you can pray tonight and say, Lord, this is my desire. I want you to add this into my life. I am ready to walk. I am ready to serve. But I know I lack this ability to serve. And when once the Lord added that to you, then he has added to the church. Because your strength that multiply, the grace that is multiplied, and the courage that is multiplied, will in turn bring in the people. Haven't you remember? When God wants to deliver Nineveh, you know, the Lord did not go to the king of Nineveh. All that the Lord did was to bring Jonah and say, Jonah, you go to Nineveh and talk to the people. And Jonah just went to those, you know, lower class people and told them, yet 40 days. And Nineveh will be overthrown. It was those people that took the message to the king. And they told the king, look at what we hear. When God do a favor in your life, and God added something to your life. You will go out there and tell people. And say, look, look at what God has done for me. And it was based on that information. The king made a declaration and said, everybody we will fast. Everybody we will stand. And let's change our manners. That was what turned things around. It starts with one person. And then from one person to two persons. From two to three. From three to four. If you look at, at Pentecost, it starts with them. I think they were 120. From 120, they grow to 300, 3,000. And then from 3,000 to 5,000. And then from 5,000 to multitude. This night, the Lord will begin with you. I said, the Lord will start with you. And when he added the grace to you, and you can willingly pray tonight and say, God, I want you to add grace to me so I can walk. I want to walk for you. And from this moment and henceward, I am making commitment that come for 2022, I am going to walk for you. I am going to labor for you. I am going to add to the kingdom. I am going to bring men and women to the kingdom. And then you now start praising God for what he will do. If you have not had anything that he has done, then we move to the face of praising God. And after praising God tonight, the Lord will favor every one of us in Jesus' name. Let's stand to our feet as we pray tonight. Let's stand to our feet as we pray tonight. And i like us to start this prayer by saying God, I am willing to serve. And I need grace to serve. You added to the church. I know you can add a grace to me. You can add a strength to me. You can add a new revelation about your kingdom work to me. You can add in me tonight a new strength to work. A new grace to serve. A new grace to serve. A new grace to serve. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The first thing we see is that they met daily. We want to pray tonight. 
and say, God, I shall not be tired to be in your presence. Help me to be in your presence all the days of my life. Open your mouth and pray. I shall establish your presence in my home. I shall establish your presence in my business. I shall establish your presence in all around me. May I not be tired to appear in your presence. I like this church to be serious tonight and pray this prayer. See, this prayer is a determinant for your 2022. That you are praying tonight and say, God, I want to be in your presence. David said, cast me not away from your presence, O God. And he said, renew your right spirit within me. That's the prayer now. Lord, may I not be off your presence. May I be in your presence all the days of my life. May you find a place in my family where you can do it. May you find a place in my church where you can do it. It's a very wonderful prayer and very serious prayer. The Lord can only unite his people when they appear in his presence daily. The Lord can only unite his people when they are always in his presence. They are one heart. They are one mind. They had one focus. They had one direction. They had one life they want to live. They are moving on. They are serving on. And they are taking on. And they are saying, Lord, good or bad, we are standing for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Number two, they care daily. We want to pray and say, Lord, may I not pass any day without caring for somebody. May I not pass through a day without picking my calls, picking my phones and call somebody. Grant me grace to care for someone. Open your mouth and pray. When it comes to this kind of prayer, people don't pray it. But I tell you, this is the prayer you need. Let me care. If I see the church and the church is not in this way it should be, lay the burden on my heart. You can sit down, even though the church is not going well, even though things is not working well. You can still have peace. Why? Because you lack body. Say God give me body for the church. I need body for the church. I need body for somebody. Some of us can stay all through the day. We won't call our wife. We won't call our husband. We won't call the children. We won't call any member. The caring is lacking. The church lacks caring. Can we pray and say, God gives us grace to start caring. Help sunrise to be a caring church.
just a care can turn things around. One care from you can turn things around. A care from you can make all the difference. Give me the spirit of caring so I can care. Number three, they want so daily. Pray and say, God, before the end of this year, give me a soul. I want to present a soul to you. Go and unify the church. Because they were walking. They were serving. They were praising God for what they have done. They were praising God for the labor they have put on the ground. And God added to the church. They want souls daily. Say, God, I don't want to be a barren Christian. I don't want to be a barren disciples. Don't make it only prayer. Make it prayer and action. After prayer, after hearing the word, be a doer of the word. Be a doer of the world. Be a doer of the world. God does not reward hearers. He reward doers. Be a doer of the world. They were studying the word of God daily and understanding what they have studied every day. They increase in strength. They increase in knowledge. They increase in wisdom. They increase in service. They increase in all ramification. They were serving the Lord. As a church, this night is a commitment night. And we are telling the Lord, Father, increase my service for you. Increase my love for you. Increase my zeal for you. Increase my burden for you. Increase my passion for you. It's important. No one man does this work. It's a collective work. It's a collective work. It is a work you must do. And I must do. Your prayer will tell me who you are in this church. What is your love for God? How 
where do you feel? Sisters? Brothers? Do you sit down and see yourself looking like you are being frustrated and you take it like that for free? Say, God, give me passion for you, burden for you, love for you. If you go to glory today, do you have a soul you can present to God? Somebody won you. Somebody brought you. Somebody get you to Christ. Whether it was in this church or any other church. But you become born again because somebody preached to you. Since that time, who have you preached to? The year is ending. What do you have that you can use to say, God, thank you. This is what I've done for you. What did you give to God this year? That you can look at it and say, God, this is the sacrifice I made. Going forward shall not remain the same. Going forward shall not remain the same. Things will turn around. See all the negligence in service. All the negligence in handling things. Serving God mechanically. As if nothing, as if you are serving man. God will bring people here that will serve him. God must turn the handwriting. If truly I am called, it will turn the handwriting. If you have done anything for the Lord this year, can you wave your hands and begin to thank him for it? Can you worship him? If there is anything you've done, thank him. I say, Lord, thank you for granting me grace to do this for you. Worship him. If there is anything you've done. And you know God is glad with you for that. And you know God is happy with you for that. Thank you.
What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. You have done it for us. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. What a mighty God we serve. If there is anything you have done for the Lord this year, and you know God is pleased with you, you will sing this song with me. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Heaven and earth adore you. Angels bow before you. What a mighty Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. He saved my life throughout the year. I exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, magnify the Lord with me. It's all the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. It's all the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. With me. It's all the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus. Oh, magnify, magnify the Lord with me. As all the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. As all the name of Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. I'd like you to just worship Him. If there is service, I can remember my service this year. I can remember how the Lord helped me this year to serve Him. Thank you, Father. For this privilege of service, I worship you, Lord. For this privilege of service, glory be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we worship. In Jesus' name, we worship. They were for service. 
they praised the Lord. And they grew to favor. We want to pray tonight. And say, God, begin to cause me to find favor with all people. Whether it is unbelievers or believers, whosoever, oh God, begin this with me from tonight. That you cause me to find favor with all people. Any person I speak with, you will cause me to find favor. Any man I speak with, you found me to, to you cause me to find favor. Open your mouths and pray and say, Lord, when they bless you, when they serve from service to praises, from praises you cause them to find favor. Open your mouth and pray. SBBC shall find favor. This ministry shall find favor. I will find favor. The Lord will give me favor. And I will receive favor. God, you will give me favor. <laughs>